So this is just one of the weirdest things ever. So I was doing um, some background. I've got some steel here, and what I was going to do is going to heat this up, you know, using uh, jet fuel type things, and seeing what happens to its properties, which is obviously a nice little project for the thermal camera here. So obviously here I've got the thermal camera and the high speed camera now both mounted up on some fairly solid mounts. Anyway, I got a little sidetracked with um, uh, gummy bears. So uh, under the desk here, I've got an oxygen concentrator, which does more or less exactly what it says. It takes in the air, which is about 20% oxygen, 80% nitrogen, concentrates the oxygen, basically blows out pure oxygen. And things burn pretty well in um, pure oxygen. And it's just one of the weirdest things ever. Uh, the I managed to set steel on fire using a gummy bear. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So anyway, uh, this is just going to be a little prelude because to actually get all the stuff set up for the um, the steel video will take some some doing. Now the thing about gummy bears is they're essentially sugar and water, and when you eat sugar, you breathe in oxygen and you turn sugar and oxygen into carbon dioxide, water, and a load of energy, which is exactly what happens when you burn them. You take the sugar plus the oxygen and you get carbon dioxide and energy. So if you want how much energy you get out of eating just one of these things, you're about to be amazed. Okay, so this is the most elaborate filming ever done of a gummy bear. There you have the gummy bear. It has the light on it because the high speed camera is pointing at it and the high speed camera uh, needs lots of light um, and it'll, you just about see what's going on there um, and then here with a little plastic coating on it to give the lens a little bit of protection I have the infrared camera um, who is filming like that and I'm going to have to change the temperature setting on this to uh, thermal cameras can only go over a certain temperature range and at the moment this is uh, what is it minus 20 to 100 so I'm going to set that going up to as hot as it can and even that might not be enough so yeah here we go for probably the most expensive filming of a gummy bear ever done so yeah the the high-speed camera is about 15,000 bucks the thermal camera is about the same. The oxygen generator you can hear under the table is not that cheap either. Um, so let's see what it looks like. Moment of truth. Here I am trying to run one, two, three rather sophisticated cameras. I hope this doesn't go too wrong. And here we go. Oh, and it looks good on everything. Just going to trigger that one there. Wow, that's bitchingly bright. So, calling to the thermal camera. It's maxed down. It's above. It's a, it's above a thousand degrees. That it might even melt a hole. And they are, uh, yeah. I mean, they, they, it is like welding torch brightness. That's how bright this thing is. And even at that, I'm not at full power on the oxygen either. That's what it looks like on a high speed. It's just insanely bright. Look at this. Boom. You're going to see how this managed to melt steel, yeah? This is just the amazing thing, is just like that, it's all gone. So that is how much energy 
your body releases for eating a single gummy bear. So let's take a look at that on the thermal camera. Well, the thermal camera in this case will only go from about 120 degrees to about 1000. So when it lights up straight away, you can see the gummy bear heat up and there are these hot spots. And those hot spots are off the top of the temperature range of the camera. They're about a thousand degrees or so. And that gels because when it's burning, it's too bright to look at. It's uh, It's got that brilliant white of, that you get off things like arc welders. It's just incredibly bright. And so the temperature range around the outside is a few hundred degrees, but in the middle there, it's... It's getting up to a thousand degrees Celsius, which does mean there are some maybe interesting things that you can do with this. Now, when I first filmed this with a high speed camera, I wasn't thinking about this too much. And really, this is just too slow to film with a high speed camera. I mean, if you think about it, filming at merely a thousand frames per second is about one thirtieth of regular speed. So that means that if it took one second in real time, it would take 30 seconds to watch it at a thousand frames per second. And when I first filmed this, I went up to 10,000 frames per second. Eh, maybe not so smart, but so that means that just one second would take five minutes to watch. And yeah, this was clearly way too fast, but there are some interesting things that you actually see. There are these little eruptions of, of fire when, when uh, a strong patch of oxygen comes through. And then I went back and filmed it at, merely 3,000 frames per second. And again, it, it, it's, it's still probably too high a frame rate, but it does look kind of cool.